Let me talk about the anatomy of a pressure waveform. In order to fully understand the pressure being given to the patient, you have to understand different parts. Again, this part here is your PIP. That is the peak inspiratory pressure. Here, this is your plateau pressure. Again, in order to get the plateau pressure, you need to do an inspiratory pause or inspiratory hold. And that pr plateau pressure, also known as a static pressure or alveolar pressure, is the pressure needed to keep the lungs open without any air movement. Here is your baseline. Again, that's usually a starting point. If there is PEEP involved, then most likely the uh, starting point of your uh, pressure waveform is slightly elevated to whatever PEEP that is set. But in this case, let us assume that the PEEP is zero. Here, once the patient exhales, if you see that the pressure waveform elevates, then most likely this area here this area here is auto peep. Other words for auto peep could be intrinsic peep, okay? Or in some books, you may see it as peep sub I, intrinsic peep. It could be auto peep, air trapping, or another terminology is dynamic hyperinflation. This area here from the pip to the plateau, again, this is your airway resistance. And from here, this is basically your lung compliance or this is the amount of tidal volume that the patient is getting.